Well, Sherry, it's nice to be able to talk with you here today because today is a very special day. Mm -hmm. It's March, which is Nutrition Month, but today we are focusing on people like you, mm. dietitians. Yes, today's a very <laughs> special day. It's Dietitian's Day. It's our day to shine and it's our day to let the public know um, that there is advice out there that's legitimate mm -hmm. uh, from registered dietitians. Right. We all go to university, we all go to credible uh, internship programs, and there's many dietitians out there. Excellent. Now, there's always a big theme for, uh, you know, Nutrition Month every single year, mm -hmm. and this year it's take the fight out of food. Now, uh, yes. you know, when I think about food and fighting, it takes me back to high school, cafeterias, mm -hmm. food fights. That's not what we're talking about. No, right? so we can, we can take our dukes down, uh, Wendy. And uh, so this month's theme is take the fight out of food. Right. And everybody has some kind of a fight out of food. Um, families have lots of fights with food with picky eaters. Correct. Right. So there's all kinds of uh, all kinds of issues that are out there. So what's your fight with food, Wendy? I would say my biggest fight is is eating in the evening. I tend to be very good during the day, but mm -hmm. if I'm you know relaxing in front of the television or whatever at night, then yeah. my fridge is going. Well, that's my biggest challenge. That's right. So you've identified <laughs> what your issue is. So for number one is we want to spot the problem. Okay. So we have spot the problem, you know what the issue is. So number two is you're going to get the facts. So you can go on the internet mm -hmm. and you can find all kinds of wealth of information out there. Is it legit? Right. Well, there's so mm -hmm. much, right? There's so much How, out there. What is true? What is mm -hmm. false? Because right. you read so many things that are conflicting. That's mm -hmm. a big challenge, I think, for people is trying to determine yeah. what they should be following. That's right. So three, we're going to seek support. Okay. And you're going to talk to a registered dietitian. You go on dietitians.ca. There's all kinds of great information for the public on there as well. And it's always so yeah. difficult. Like mm -hmm. you know, what am I supposed to do? Put a chain around the fridge mm -hmm. or something? It's it's really really hard. Right. And I know for people who are dealing with. Uh, uh, you know, trying to manage a whole bunch of, of things like conditions or even sure. children who are picky. Mm -hmm. it, you know, eating and, as you say, fighting with food can be a real problem. Yeah. Yes, it is, definitely. So there's all kinds of other issues that were identified this month as well, too, that we're tackling. So one of them is eating uh, eating, mind eating mindfully. Another one is, is dealing with our digestive woes. Okay. And there is so many people out there that have digestive woes these days. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of IBS, which stands for irritable bowel syndrome. Right. It's not clinically diagnosed. The only way we can find out is through, you know, eliminations of food, figuring out what's really causing those triggers. Yep. On the right-hand side, we have kefir, also known as kefir. Uh, kefir, kefir, whichever way you want to pronounce it, has 2 billion bacteria in it. Because That's good bacteria. The pro right? probiotics are very yes. important, right? Right. So we want fermented foods. So other probiotics are such things as sauerkraut. Okay. And people don't realize that sauerkraut is another good probiotic. Now, what kind of a taste does it have? Is it, is it similar to yogurt? Because I read fermented milk and I just want to go, okay, yeah. that sounds like sour milk. So the milk, I find the drinkable versions is a little bit more sour. This okay. new spoonable version is much more palatable. People are, are, are enjoying it. We've been doing lots of sampling of it, um, using it in smoothies, just having it as a yogurt, um, you know, like with yogurt, some fruit, and right. some nuts on top of it. And people are enjoying the spoonable much, much more. And it makes your belly nice and healthy. Makes your belly All of nice those happy healthy. guys are in there going, all right. Right, that's right. So if you've got Good. digestive woes, number one, you've identified the issue that you do have a, uh, you know, stomach problems, mm -hmm. right? You're going to go out and you're going to get the facts. So what happens when we get the facts, we go on the internet, often these days with stomach issues, the number one thing that comes back that it's gluten. Right. Or you talk to your friends and everybody's like, oh, go gluten free, go gluten free. But that may not be the issue. And if you've already gone gluten free, um, there's no way to even test if it could possibly be celiac because it's already out of your diet, right? So we want to definitely get the facts by going to a registered dietitian, right? Awesome. So seek the support that you need for that awesome. stomach issue. But we can also to um, change up some of our food habits and by eating more of a slow carb. And you'll see I say slow because okay. we want to go for slow carb, not low carb. For many years, oh, we've been talking about yeah. low-carb, low-fat diets, right? Mm -hmm. But the philosophy is really we're changing away from there. So it's not so much to go low-carb, it's finding the right carbs for you, right? The same as it fat, right? Everything is low-fat out there, but then we're missing all those healthy fats. So I'd right. rather that you cut the fat in half, right? Cut the dressing that you're putting on your salad. Use less of it. But go for it. You can use a full fat salad dressing. And then you still get to enjoy it. So That's people right. who don't want to give up the things that they yeah. love, mm -hmm. they can still eat healthier. That's right. All right. So I have right in front of us here today. We're going to make something. We are going to make a Greek lentil salad. I and love lentils. Yeah. So if you go on lentils.ca, um, you can uh, check out this recipe. It is there. Mm -hmm. um, 2016 was the international year of the pulses. So I do talk a lot about pulses. So 
lentils is part of the Pulse family. Okay. Um, we are going to be using canned lentils today, mm -hmm. but up front up here we also have bags of lentils. So right. we have green lentils, uh, we have red lentils, and then we have a soup a mix, mix that have yeah soup mix that has lentils in them. We are going to be using canned lentils today. Mm -hmm. uh, with these particular lentils, I rinse them, I drain them for the salt uh, to get rid of any kind of sodium that could possibly be on there, and uh, to make them up. Nice and fresh and more seem like we had just cooked them, right? Okay. So we have our lentils. So we've used a full can of lentils. We've drained, okay. rinsed and drained. We've got cucumber. So this is a, uh, uh, a full cup of cucumber in here. dressing. All right, so I have a uh, quarter of a cup of lemon juice and a quarter of a cup of canola oil over there to your right. Now, why would you use canola instead of olives? All right, so you could use olive oil, you could use canola. So in this particular case, the recipe calls for canola oil, so okay. I follow my recipes to a T. Um, if I want to be using... Um, mix? Yep, yep, mix them up together. I got a little fork there if you want to just kind of whisk them up. Beautiful. Olive oil is more of a low heat oil, so right. I don't use it. So say you're roasting something in the oven, you want to roast some sweet potatoes, you want to have them on really, you know, a high temperature, roast some veggies, yeah, you can just pour that right all out on top, okay. pour it over. Um, I would use more of a canola oil. Right. Right, because they have that low smoke point um, with the um, And with, with the, your with salads, the olive oil. then I guess it's just preference? Yeah, preference, whatever your taste is for that, right? There's so many different flavors of oils out there these days. Right, but we want to be using good healthy fats. So again, as I was saying, we don't need to be worrying so much as low fat diets. We want to be looking at more of the quantity of the fat that we're using and making sure we're using good healthy fats. So that so means when, I, when I've got that craving for french fries, yep. Sherry, it's okay to have them, just don't have a big plateful? That's right, have a smaller <laughs> portion full. But also, I actually uh, was talking to one of our colleagues this morning and she was asking me what's something that she could have instead of french fries. And I said, what about turnip fries? Have you ever tried Absolutely. turnip fries? Absolutely, only recently mm -hmm. and they're fabulous. Yeah, and you could do them if you have an active fry, you could do them in the oven on parchment. Um, just toss them in a little small bit of oil, right, just to give them a little coating and put them in your active fryer or put them in your oven and they're absolutely delicious. So there's so many different things that we can do instead of going to uh, regular white bread and potatoes, right? right? We need to be looking at the different carbs that's out there, especially if you're diabetic. All right, so what do you think? I think it looks fabulous. It's yeah. so colorful. You want to try some? Absolutely. Okay. All right. So three quarters of a cup, so that's plenty. There three quarters go. of a cup is a portion. All right. Lots of fiber. It's low in fat. We want to use that bit of canola oil that's in there. Right. And look at all those great vegetables that's in there. Yummy. There we go. Bon appetit. Okay, bon appetit. There we go. Let's See? hope I have better luck today than I did with the lemon meringue yesterday. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Really good. Boom. Really good. So this salad does very well. If you marinate it, let it sit. You can even let it sit overnight. Mm, it's beautiful. Let it sit for a couple of hours. Or in this case, we're just eating it right away. And it's, it's delicious. Great. Right? It's great. Yeah. Thanks, Sherry. Yes. So for this month, we're asking people to take the pledge. Oh, right. Do you remember last mm -hmm. year you took the pledge? Mm -hmm. Right? To take the uh, the hundred meal uh, journey. So this month, we're taking the fight out of food. Okay. So you know what your fight is now? I the know. fight is mindless eating at night. Right. We're going to tackle that problem. We're going to find solutions for you. And we're going to sign the pledge. So sign your pledge. Okay. Done. There we go. Excellent. Done. There we go. I'm going to take the fight out of my food. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, thank you for having me. <laughs>